This is an interesting problem. Let's read it first and then decide how to solve it. A parcel of air, a parcel of air means a, um, a large mass of air, uh, of volume 1 times 10 to the third liters at 20 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere rises up the side of a mountain range. At the summit where the pressure is 0.75 atmospheres, the parcel of air has cooled to negative 10 degrees Celsius. What is the volume of the parcel at that point? So this question is, what is the volume of that, that big mass of air um, at that point? It's sort of like how we track weather and how we track you know, large masses of, of air uh, moving around um, the earth. It's called a parcel. But anyway, the question is, what is the volume of that parcel at that point? And so um, what we recognize first is that this particular uh, problem is a two-state problem. We have a beginning and an end. Okay, and so we want to identify what are the um, what are the different uh, variables at the beginning versus the end. Well, we've got a volume, an initial volume, an initial temperature, and an initial pressure. And that mass of air with that volume, that temperature, and that pressure um, is a fixed quantity of air, and it moves up the side of the mountain range. At the summit, the pressure has changed to 0.75 and the air has cooled to negative 10 degrees Celsius. And so the question is, what is the volume of the parcel at that point? So sometimes this would be called a combined gas law because we have th um, three things changing, volume, pressure, and temperature, instead of just volume and pressure or temperature and volume. Um, so the first thing we want to do is just state our initial and final uh, conditions. So the um, initial volume, the initial temperature, the initial pressure, and of course the amount is fixed, so we're not going to worry about that. It's constant. We'll just say that's going to be constant. Okay, and so the initial volume um, was 1.00 times 10 to the third liters. The initial temperature, 20 degrees Celsius, but of course we're going to have to convert that always to absolute temperature, so we'll just go ahead and add the 273 and one atmosphere pressure. So 20 plus 273 is 293 Kelvin. All right, the final conditions, V2, T2, P2, of course the N is constant, so it's not going to change. Um, well, we're looking for the vinyl, final volume. That's what we're looking for. The um, final temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius, so we're going to have to add that to 273. So that's going to end up being um, 263 Kelvin. And then the final pressure went down as 0 0.750 atmospheres. So the relationship here then is um, that um, P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 over times V2 over T2. So we're solving for V2. So we can plug in all of the other uh, known states, the initial volume goes there, the initial temperature goes there, the initial pressure goes there, the uh, final temperature goes there, the final pressure goes there. Plug all those numbers into your calculator, solve for V2, and the answer you will get is 1,200 liters.